Hey ladies, so I've gotten a couple of messages um, from a couple of you asking me about the hostess packets and what exactly I put in them. Um, I'm assuming the questions are coming because I had posted the IPA calendar, the income producing activity calendar um, on Sunday. And one of the things that you could do for one of the days this week is to create those hostess packets and have them ready to go. Um, so what I thought I would do is instead of you know, making a post and posting it, I thought I'd make a quick video to show you exactly what I put in it. Um, so one of the things that I use is our awesome purple mailers, super cool, way awesome. Who doesn't want to get this in the mail, uh, full of awesome Jamboree goodies, right? So that's the mailer that I use. Um, so another thing I include is my uh, catalog and I even have my information down at the bottom. That way, if they have family or friends that want to look at it, my information's right at the bottom and they can either, you know, snap a picture of it or if somebody takes it from the hostess to keep, they have my information right at the bottom. So that's important important. Also have our host join brochure, which everybody knows all the goodies that's in it, but I want to make sure that they have the um, information for the host rewards as well as joining. Want them to join our team, right? Um, I also include five, you can do more if you want, but five samples for my sample packet. I have double sided tape that I put on this side and then I stick it right to um, the business card. Um, so some people do it this way, some people don't. I like doing it this way because then as she's handing them out to friends and family, they already have my information. So hopefully if they don't order from the party, they know to contact me in the future. So I do include five. You can do more. Um, I know some hostess never hand any out. I know some hand them all out and then I send more out. It really depends on what you want to do. I also include a nourish hand sample, um, hand cream sample, to be honest. Um, I do it kind of as an additional thank you to my hostess. Um, I don't just hand these out to anybody. I use them kind of as specialty um, thank yous or incentives for my hostess. So I do include that. And, you know, honestly, once you use it once, you realize how much you love it. So hopefully I'm kind of you know, getting future business out of it. So I do include that for her specifically. And then I also have a thank you card that I actually hand write um, and, you know, just let her know everything that's in it, that the five samples are for her to hand out to her friends if anybody wants to try before they buy. Um, the nourish sample is for her specifically. And then I just, you know, thank her and let her know that I really appreciate, you know, not only her business, but the fact that she's hosting a party for me, um, that she's, you know, getting out in front of her friends and family, and that I really do appreciate it. And of course, that I'm super excited to hold the party for her. Um, so that's what I put in my thank you card. So then I just throw everything in there. I know some people put more, some people don't even put that much. It really depends on what, you know, you can afford to put in there. I know not everybody can afford the nourish samples right now. Um, or, you know, you want to put, a, some people put half sheets of wraps as an additional thank you to their hostess in there. I don't, um, because chances are the people that are hosting probably earned a half sheet from um, previous parties. And if that's the case, then I've probably upped them to a full sheet as an incentive to host host a party. Um, so it really kind of just depends on what you want to do, what you want to put in there, what you can afford to put in there. Um, and there's really no right or wrong. As long as they have a catalog, a host join, and some samples to hand out, you're all good. So hopefully that helps. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. Thanks.